Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people remember you for, okay? So pile number one, you're going to be the tree, a gate, crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the green adventuring crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the amethyst crystal. So pile number one, the tree, a gate, crystal. Pile number two, the green adventuring crystal. And pile number three, the amethyst crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked a tree, a gate, crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, what do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my pal number one? What do people remember you for? So pal number one, what do we have here for you? We have seventh house relationship. So this is a Libra's house. Okay, you could be a Libra or have a Libra in your chart. So I'm getting like people remember you for how loving that you are in your relationships and how you value relationships. So how like you're definitely a loyal person. You are dedicated to the people that you make a commitment to. And also what I'm getting here is that a lot of people remember you for like I'm getting like especially for your exes as the one that got away. Okay, you have people you have people in their feelings, pile number one, with relationships. I'm getting like there's a lot of people that are in their feelings when they remember you. When people mention your name and they have to reminisce about you, you got them in their feelings. So what do people remember you for? I just saw, yeah, for your wisdom, your knowledge, your expertise, I'm getting, your wise counsel, and your patience with the Seven of Pentacles. They remember you for being a super patient person, um, understanding, collaborative as well with the um, temperance card. You could be a Sagittarius, so you could have Sagittarius in your chart. But people definitely remember you for being extremely patient, extremely wise. Like, I feel like people come to you for advice or like a shoulder to cry on when they go through stuff. And I feel like a lot of people took your energy for granted because they thought that you were always going to be there. And because you're, you were seen as the wise one, the one that have like all the answers to their problems, they didn't like see you as somebody who could have your own problems. So whenever it was your time to receive the same love that you were giving out, it wasn't re reciprocated. What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my pal? Number one, what do people remember you for? Just one card. What do people remember you for, my pal number one? Okay. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 
as they remember you as somebody who's always financially stable who always bounce back no matter what happens to them in their life ace of pentacles is also like good financial opportunity um stability in the fine in finances so this is what people remember you for as somebody who's always like stable who always like have things going on for themselves like that you're going to go far in life this is what people remember you for like when they see you now they definitely see like the, your strength of character being represented in the things that you do okay this is what people remember you for being strong-willed as well we have the lovers gemini energy you see this is the one that got away this is the vibe i'm getting here you may have um gemini and sagittarius in your chart like your sun and your moon or anywhere in your chart it does not have to be sun and moon but i'm getting like you're being remembered as the one that got away this is what people remember you for like even like not your exes but like your ex's friends they even though they won't say it to your ex but they know that you were the best thing that ever happened to them because this is like relationships so i'm really getting like the relationship that you had people always remember you for being like that one that always was there they could call at any time of the hour and then you will like you know stop what you're doing and come to them and come to their rescue or come to their aid and they took you for granted that's why they feel like you're the one that got away what do people remember you for yeah six of wands victory good news success being successful being celebrated put on a pedestal this is what people remember you for being victorious you know everything that you touch turned to gold what do people remember you for my pal number one oh the is um, inquisite one with the page of swords very intelligent witty this is what people remember you for uh, being curious and also what I'm getting with the page of swords like a great student a student of life or fast learner people remember you as such what do people remember you for oh okay we have the queen of pentacle and the strength card they remember you as somebody who's influential with the strength card powerful um very strong like in like strong will and i'm also gonna like courageous queen of pentacles is definitely nurturing very calm energy that's what people remember you for like wifey or husband material with the queen of pentacles this is what people remember you for and i feel like you have a lot of people right now at this moment present moment in mercury retrograde that are like remembering you um longing for you longing for a relationship or rekindle a connection with you they miss you i feel like an energy where people feel nostalgic when they remember you okay what do people remember you for? Yeah, ooh, Ace of Wands, being creative. Also very sexy because the Ace of Wands is sexual energy, but I'm getting like people remember you for being extremely creative, have amazing ideas, um, outside the box type of ideas. Um, also, if you play an instrument, people will remember you for playing your instrument, okay? With the Ace of Wands or if you anything creative. So if you are a writer, a singer, a dancer, People remember you for that as well. Like, especially if you, like, I'm getting like a dancer, break dancer. I don't know why I'm getting specifically break dancer. If you were one back in the days, um, people remember you for that. What do people remember you for? My pal. My pal number one. What do people remember you for? Yeah. King of Swords, being extremely intelligent. Um, cutting to the chase, very stoic as well. Um, like you took um, your education and your work seriously. This is what people remember you for. <laughs> I just heard goody two shoes, guys. <laughs> this is what people remember you for. Okay, like especially the people that always wanted to um, influence you to do something bad. They remember you for being the goody two shoes, like for always calling them out on their BS if they were doing something wrong. This is what people remember you for. What do people remember you for? My pal yeah we have the queen of wands okay extremely beautiful talented confident in your skills this is what people remember you for um like a leader being a leader like you led a lot of people to the right path this is what i'm getting here with the queen of wands what do people remember you for 
What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for? Just one card, please. Okay, we have the High Priestess. They remember you for being um, highly intuitive with the High Priestess. Um, mystique, mysterious. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Um, there's a lot of people that remember you for being eccentric or just different. Okay, like extremely mysterious, like you were always ahead of your time. This is what I'm getting here as well. What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my number one? Ooh, we have the devil. So, oh, okay, I'm getting like seduction, being seductive. People remember you for that. And also I'm getting like being a workaholic, like extremely focused. Like you, I feel like people get obsessed with you or obsessed with your energy with the devil being here like people will just like honestly this is what i'm getting here like bow down to your feet this is what i'm getting with the devil not that you were like trying to make them bow down to you or anything like that that's not the vibe i'm getting like people just naturally did that for you okay like you had oh my god i'm getting like you had some people sprung back in the days and people remember like you know when they talk about you they remember they'll be like oh remember when pile number one had so and so sprung like this is what i'm getting here yeah you see queen of pentacles again very nurturing very caring established independent people will definitely remember you for being extremely independent in your own world doing your own thing not worried about what everybody got to say about you some people may have called you like um different or weird because you were like doing things that were may not that i say i would say that it wasn't normal but it wasn't trending okay that's the proper word to say trend it wasn't trending what you were doing then but it might be trending now so maybe you were into tarot maybe you were into crystals and back then like it wasn't trending as it is trending now so i'm gonna like you were doing something like that and people remember you for being like ahead of your time or just eccentric or just different what do people remember you for my pal number one yeah you see a visionary a pioneer this is what people remember you for being so different stepping outside of your comfort zone or even charting like an on march territories this is what i'm getting here a pioneer what do people remember you for my pal number one yeah like we have the wheel of fortune like being lucky like you always did things like everything that you would try everything new that you would try it always turned out perfectly for you people were always wondering like how are you so successful it's because you're optimistic what do people remember you for what do people remember you for my pal number one yeah you see temperance again your wisdom your knowledge the fact that um, you're ahead of your time with the temperance card. You're always like, you know, 10 step ahead of people. Whatever you, um, you're you doing right now, people are going to catch up to you in 10 years from now. This is what I'm getting here. And this is what people remember you for because they remember what you were doing back then 10 years ago. And they're seeing what you've been doing now that is like trending now. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. I hope that's making sense, guys. So what do people remember you for? What do people, yeah, nine of pentacles, always being independent in your bag, minding your own business, living a life of luxury, okay? Like always like, you know, the nicest style, always uh, you got swag. Like I'm really getting like independence here with the nine of pentacles. You always did your own thing. You were not, um, you were definitely not a follower. People definitely remember you for being a leader ahead of your time i keep getting like ahead of your time yeah king of swords like um hard to manipulate you with the king of swords this is what people remember you for being very strong-minded with the king of swords wise because we have the owl there what do people remember you for 
what do people remember you for my pal number one just one card please what do you remember people remember you for yeah i see six of wands again victorious celebrating like you're always like doing good no matter what happens to you in life even if you go through hardship or obstacles and challenges you always bounce back you always come back victorious like you they remember you for being a winner for being celebrated and always i'm also getting like the one that had the most potential to become famous or to become a star or to be um a celebrity i'm really getting that vibe people remember you for that like you had the potential or you have the skills and talent or you have the it factor what do people remember you for my pal number one what do people remember you for i just heard resilience what do people remember you for just one card yeah, I see Eight of Pentacles for being extremely talented. Okay, very skilled at what you do, the best to ever do it. That's what I'm getting here. What do people remember you for? Just one card, please. What do people remember you for? I keep getting the Four of Pentacles, like being grounded or like making great financial decisions. But I put it back. What do people remember you for? But you see, we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles twice and the King of Pentacles. Definitely somebody who is trustworthy. But you see, King and Queens is a pair. It's a couple. This is why we have a relationship. You're the one that got away. Like you have people in their, um, like I said earlier, you have people in their feelings, pal number one. Okay, they definitely remember you as somebody who is, um, who has the maddest touch with the King of Pentacles who's a very, um, that has financial liter literacy, who's really good with money, who's very stable and reliable. People remember you for that, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, Pal2. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the green adventuring. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spa or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, what do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my pal number two? What do people remember you for, pal number two? So, my pal number two, what do people remember you for? We have conjunction, alliance, okay? I'm getting like, pal number two, people remember you for um, being the plug. Because alliances, you're the one that connects people to other people, like being the plug, being the connect. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. What do people remember you for, my pal number two? What do people remember you for? Yeah, we have the queen of wands, okay? Definitely a leader in your field, well-connected, networker, like um you knew a lot of people or you may um be connected to a lot of people important people people remember you for being that person that guy that girl with the queen of wands what do people remember you for what do people remember you for they also remember you for being fashionista leo energy i'm getting okay or aries but I'm getting like mostly Leo, like for maybe like I'm getting like for pal number two, maybe some of you were like models back in the days or 
like you did something in the public eye and people remember you for that like maybe public speaking or um, performance like um, dramatic um, art I'm getting like yeah that's what I'm getting like performance so people remember you for that maybe in drama class impro okay so what do people remember you for yeah you see three of cups like having a lot of friends or just being well connected well liked or influential okay people will just gravitate towards you because we have alliances here like you were the person like if somebody needed to get their hair done you knew the best hairdresser you were connected with the best hairdresser you always had the fresh kicks fresh heels fresh everything this is what i'm getting here with the three of cups and the queen of wands that's what people remember you for you see guys fashionista and press energy okay like just being so beautiful handsome always well put together okay like just extremely creative people remember you for that like you always came like i don't know why i'm getting like when you guys had talent shows at school you guys used to be like you know one of the top the best like your performance like your team or whatever your performance was amazing out of this world it was extremely well put together this is what i'm getting here people remember you for that we have the queen the king of pentacles king of pentacles energy is like um somebody who is stable reliable um trustworthy but also well connected so this is what i'm getting here like people remember you for being well connected um maybe like popular i'm getting like popularity for sure like pile number two you were probably extremely popular in high school or in college or you just knew a lot of people and you were the, like i said the connect that's the vibe i'm getting here what do people remember you for yeah i see ten of pentacles being financially stable being abundant always having money or being lucky with money what do people remember you for pile number two what do people remember you for yeah we have queen of swords being um i just heard book smart and street smarts People remember you for that with the queen of swords like it it was not like you're not somebody easy to fool or manipulated people remember you for that your people remember you for even calling out people on their bs what do people remember you for like i feel like you know you mind your business you you do your thing so people remember you for like just doing you but also having a lot of connect having a lot of like you know acquaintances as well and like the right knowing the right people to like maybe like you know charity work or like you always invited to like the best events you always had the tickets for you know maybe front row seat i'm like getting like baseball games i don't know why i just got blue jays guys but maybe you guys are blue jay fans or like you guys used to um, maybe like your parent one of your parents is um, you know work in that industry or something and then they hooked you up for like with tickets and stuff like that so people remember you for always having the best summers you know best like always having fun people remember you for being charming <clears throat> you see mercury is messing with me don't want me to speak we have the knight of cups so definitely they um, remember you for being extremely charming like really good with people like great interpersonal skills okay that you knew how to finesse your way around <laughs> this is what i'm getting here people remember you for that yeah we have the lovers gemini energy gemini taurus and libra we have here so i'm definitely getting creativity here pal um number two and um alliances like co uh, collaboration networking so people definitely remember you for having a large um network of people and you were well connected to with the right people like knowing a lot of people is fine but being connected to the right people is even better because it definitely opens doors for you that you wouldn't be able to open even if like you had the best skills in the world but being well connected is definitely a plus and people remember you for being well connected like either like either you or your family or because of your family like you were well connected or like you know you had cousins or uncles or like siblings that were in some sort of industry that helped you that opened the doors for you this is what people remember you for what do people remember you for 
Yeah, you see, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of abundance, like always getting the best jobs or always having the best of everything when it came to the finances. Like you never, people remember you for not like having to struggle as much or maybe it just seemed that way. Maybe it wasn't like that for you, but this is what people remember you for. Like you make it look so easy, breezy, you see? And I'm getting like the queen of pentacles here. We have a pair. So I'm getting like maybe your parents, like somebody in your family, because you see alliances, I'm really getting like well connected. That's the vibe I'm getting for you, pile number number two. What do people remember you for? And that doesn't have to be childhood. It could be your present moment right now. What do people remember you for? Like maybe people like a year ago, five years ago that met you. You probably could be this person now that is well connected, that is, you know, doing their own thing, that know a lot of people, that is um have connection with um you you rub shoulders with multiple people, so you are connected. So they remember you for being that person that knew somebody that knew somebody who knew someone. Okay, this is what I'm getting here as well what do people remember you for we have temperance energy sagittarius energy okay definitely wisdom and knowledge expertise people definitely remember you for your expertise or your knowledge about a certain topic what do people remember you for my pal number two what do people remember you for what do people remember you for? We have the king and the queen of wands. You see connection, alliances, couple, like, I don't know why I just heard power couple, but you see the king and the queen of wands, definitely like connecting people. Oh my God, I just heard matchmaker. People remember you for hooking up people with people, like, you know, matching people with the right person. Because we have alliances, conjunction. I'm really getting like that vibe as like a matchmaker. And like the people that you match together are still in a couple, in a relationship. What do people remember you for? Ooh, we have the Ten of Cups. Being family oriented. You see, this is why I was getting like either some of your family members are well connected. And this is the reason why you know a lot of people. You're well known. Or like you've built a network of connection that is very strong and it seems like family to you with a 10 of cups now. But people definitely remember you for that. What do people remember you for, my pal? Number two, we have death, Scorpio energy. I'm getting like um, your resilience, your power, your strength. People remember you for that. They also remember you for... Um, like how you transform, how you always improving, how you always get better. It's like the last, like let's say if they saw you like two years ago and the next two years they see you again, it's a complete transformation. It's an upgrade, it's a level up and it's always better, 10 times better than you were before. And it's like always like that every time people see you and this is what they remember you for. It's like they always talk about like how the first time that they met you, you were like this, and then they met you again. It's like a different person, much better. It's like the same person, but a upgraded version. And people remember you for always like being um, on top of your game, always like um, leveling up, okay? What do people remember you for, my pal? Number, ooh, Ace of Cups. They remember you for your self-esteem, your self-confidence. Like the fact that you don't take any BS, like you know what you bring to the table. You don't allow people to misuse you or abuse you with the Ace of Cups. And they also remember you for all the love that you gave because you, you show love to people. I feel like pal number two, you show love to people that didn't deserve it. But when you withdrew your love, they felt it. They felt the absence of you. Okay. And people definitely remember you for that. Like Especially the people that mistreated you or tried to abuse you. They remember you for like how loving and caring that you were. And some of them, they definitely regret playing with your heart or playing games with you. What do people remember you for? Yeah, you see Ace of Pentacles again. Okay. Definitely, like I said, the plug. Just well connected. People remember you for that, being the plug. What do people remember you for? 
What do people remember you for, my pal? Number two. You see? The Knight of Cups again. Definitely, you know, a smooth talker, smooth operator. They remember you for that, like you knew how to finance your way, like you're really good with words. Um, very charming. People remember you for being charming. And I feel like this is the reason why you have a large network of people. You know how to talk. You know how to converse. So it's easy for you to um, like collaborate with others. It's easy for you to present yourself to others and present your ideas. You're a great communicator. And I feel like some people, they try to emulate you. They definitely look up to you. What do people remember you for? Pal number... Pal number two, what do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my pal number two? What do we have here? Ooh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. They remember you for somebody who is um, definitely trustworthy, loyal, dedicated, who pays attention to details. Definitely a go-getter, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is a slow and steady energy, but it still moves, okay? It's Taurus energy, very sturdy, very strong, um, very um, dedicated as well. People remember you for that, being dedicated. Ooh, you see, influential with the star. I'm telling you, this is why I was getting like popularity, the plug, like people definitely remember you for being so well-liked, well-known. Or like, yeah, definitely star-like energy, okay? Influential. People remember you for being influential. Having like this amazing influence on others or just being well-connected or well-liked. This is what people remember you for with the star or like having the, like definitely have the potential, the capacity to um, become like of prestige uh, position with the star. Aquarius energy definitely original people remember you for being original like um in your sense of fashion your style this one was getting like fashionista with leo energy earlier but i'm getting like your style is definitely different it's new it's um i'm getting like out of this world what do you guys i can't make it up ace of pentacles again you guys are the plug I'm telling you, pile number two, people remember you for being the plug or the go-to person for everything. Maybe like not like when I say everything, it's not like, you know, you knew how to do everything, but you were connected in every sense of the way. And this is what people remember you for. What do people remember you for, my pal number two? What do people remember you for? Yeah, seven of pentacles invested dedicated people remember you for that okay well like i'm just keep getting well connected i don't know why i keep getting that pal pal number two and we have the ace of cups again we have the ace of cups twice um ace of pentacles three times you're definitely somebody worth like i'm getting like people remember you as somebody worth knowing okay you're worth it like you're worth um the time effort and energy okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the Amethyst Crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three, what do people remember you for? What do people remember you for, my pal number three? What do people remember you for? What do we have here? We have dignified strength. This is giving me Leo energy. People definitely remember you for your strength. 
um, your integrity I'm getting as well. Doing the right thing whenever no one is looking. This is what I'm getting here. People remember you for that. I don't know why I just heard power of attorney. I don't, I don't even know why I got that. That could be for somebody specific. But what do people remember you for? My pile number three. What do people remember you for? Oh, for being witty. Knight of Swords. Um, I don't know why I just got. Like people remember you for catching sneak disses very quickly. You could be a Libra with the scales being here. But like you were quick with your comebacks. Okay, so if somebody's trying to sneak this, you were able to catch it and have a comeback. And I feel like your comeback was eloquent. Okay, you know how to tell you know how to tell somebody to f off without saying the f off. Like you know, that's what I'm getting here. People remember you for that. What do people remember you for? My pal number three. What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for? We have the eight of pentacles for being skilled, highly skilled and talented. Definitely a great worker. A perfectionist too. This is what I'm getting here. People remember you for being a perfectionist. Yeah, for being guarded, seven of wands. So having such strong boundaries. or And you definitely reinforce your boundaries too with others. People remember you for that. For enforcing your boundaries. For, you know, like standing your ground whenever somebody would step on. Like, you know, trying to... Oh my God, guys, I can't even talk. When somebody's tried to overstep their boundaries with you, you definitely knew how to stood your ground. People remember you for that. Like you were not the one that people could push around or play around, okay? What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for? Pile number two, what do people remember you for? We have the Queen of Cups. They definitely remember you for being somebody who's caring, loving, and nurturing. And highly intuitive, okay? People remember you for that. You have a very caring, soft side to you. But only if, like, it's like you definitely are somebody who has strong boundaries. So you don't allow just anybody in, right? So, but I'm also getting, like, with the Queen of Cups, the people that you did allow in, they remember you for being somebody very nurturing, very loving and caring. And like you would go above and beyond for the people that you love and the people that not that you don't love, but that the people that you don't really care for, you would like, obviously you'll be cordial with them. You'll be polite, but you won't allow them to overstep their boundaries with you. So people remember you for that. And also what I'm getting, like people remember you for being a fierce lover and a protector of the people that you love. We have the nine of pentacles. People for, remember you for being stylish, for being, um, I don't know why I keep getting eloquent. There's something um, elegant about you with the nine of pentacles that people remember you for, classy, um, like definitely chic. You know, this is what I'm getting here with the nine of pentacles or also somebody that lives a life of luxury. People remember you for that. Or I'm also getting like, people remember you for being somebody who likes, um, expensive things have an expensive taste exquisite taste this is what i'm getting here what do people remember you for yeah we have the hermit um as somebody who likes to spend a lot of time alone with the hermit card secluded from the world or like just being around your family this is what i'm getting here like family oriented or just spending a lot of your time by yourself we have the nine of pentacles and the hermit this is both virgo energy so you could have virgo in your chart you like luxurious things this is what people remember you for but also being an example i feel like people follow your lead pile number three like you set the tone for a lot of other people to follow suit they want to live their life the same way that you do this is what people remember you for what do people remember you for my pal number three what do people remember you for we have the star okay influential um i don't know why i just heard um organic so i'm getting like people remember you for being a vegan or being um yeah, like I'm getting like vegan vibe with the hermit. I don't know why I just got that for the star, but I'm getting like um, organic, original, authentic. People remember you for being that. Like 
you're real like you're who you say you are and you act um like the same way that you act um with you know your family your friends like you don't switch up people remember you for that for being a real one especially with the star here people remember you for being real what do people remember you for what do people remember you for my pal Ooh, ten of pentacles you see a lot of abundance but like i'm getting like inheritance family uh, legacy with the ten of pentacles people remember you for that maybe you have like some sort of a legacy that or like i'm getting like with the ten of pentacles you may be going to school for like as like a doctor a lawyer a police officer whatever like something that is in your family is like a tradition that you are following and people remember you for that because maybe right now today you are in that position so you could be a doctor maybe your dad your mom your grandpa your grandma was a doctor they were doctors so i'm getting like you're following their footsteps there is definitely some sort of a legacy that you're passed that you that was passed down to you and you're maybe passing it down to your family like your offsprings your children or whatever this is what i'm getting here with the ten of pentacles and people remember you for that like you know being family oriented what do people remember you for what do people remember you for my pal number three yeah you see we have the emperor being a boss a leader like i'm getting like ceo vibe like you always like were a boss like you always came out with ideas you made money out of nothing so you always like use your ideas your talents your skills to make money and people remember you for that you have great leadership skills yeah you see wow sorry guys that's way too many cards so people remember you for we have the strength card that came out definitely your influence you see we have strength twice leo energy twice so you may have leo heavy in your chart but definitely they remember you for your inner strength your courage you're like somebody who's extremely courageous maybe your your family is um maybe you come from an immigrant family so your family immigrated from a different country and you know they may have to go through some sort of obstacles and challenge and you had to overcome something maybe like a language barrier or like there's something that you may have to overcome when you were younger that people remember you for and like they see you today and you definitely set the tone and example for them like they definitely um, respect your character you have great strength of character yeah I see six of wands you had to overcome something and then you became victorious people remember you for that Maybe you were teased for having an accent. Do, like I'm getting like there was something about you that was like people noticed was different. And maybe like back then it was you probably saw it as a weakness, but it was actually your strength and you definitely ran with it. I'm getting and people remember you for that, for overcoming this obstacle. What do people remember you for? My pal number three. What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for? Yeah, we have the King of Swords, your your intelligence. Yeah, I'm getting like a great student for some reason with the King of Swords. Like you're really good at school, book smart. People remember you for that. Like maybe you or um, I'm getting valedictorian, dictorian. My gosh, I can't even. Phew, Mercury is kicking my butt, guys. You see the star again. Uh, original influential popularity that's the Aquarius energy original originality different people remember you for being that and like I said it could have been like hard for you because you were like in a new country or a new city it doesn't have to be a new country it could be like a new state or whatever you had to move when you were fairly young or you had to move around multiple times so it was always like a different school so that was kind of like challenging for you but you were able to overcome that and you made the best out of it, okay? And people remember you for that. What do people remember you for? What do people remember you for? Ooh, you see Knight of Cups. Very charming, loving, like smooth operator. This is what I'm getting here. Romantic. People remember you for being romantic. What do people remember you for? My pal number three. Yeah, you see the King of Swords keeps coming out intelligent okay very smart 
like very wise too i don't know why i'm getting that even though the temperance is not here but i'm getting like a lot of wisdom what do people remember you for what do people remember you for my pal number three wow guys didn't i see temperance your wisdom your knowledge and yeah we have the hermit here again like two cards about wisdom and knowledge intellect they definitely remember you for being like calm cool and collected under pressure this is something that people really liked about you like people that you may not talk to anymore but when they remember when they talk about you this is what they remembered of you like being calm cool and collected under pressure they never saw you sweat people would definitely remember you for that for being composed what do people remember you for my pal number three what do people remember you for just one card what do you yeah it's people from your childhood with the six of cups yeah like nostalgic memories of you very um very loving memories okay like there's a lot of people that are very fond of you pal number three we have the ace of pentacles yeah like you came out on top like i'm getting like underdog energy that came out on top this is what people remember you for you had to overcome some sort of challenge or obstacle and this is why i'm getting like the seven of wands like you had to stood your ground maybe you were bullied in high school or something or yeah i'm getting like people may have bullied you yeah you see the ten of cups like you're definitely family oriented people remember you for being extremely family oriented or caring loving what do people remember you for my pal number three what do people remember you for that's 20 cards just one i just saw the knight of cups again what do people remember you for yeah you see two cups a great partner two cups is partnership it doesn't have to be love it could be friendship it could be work related but you know extremely collaborative cooperative um well balanced individual people remember you as also being um a good having a good balance of feminine and masculine energy in touch with your emotional side your feminine side people remember you as such <clears throat> mercury please stop oh my god <laughs> what do people remember you for what do people remember you for yeah you see this so i was getting like with the world card like um the world could also represent accomplishments okay um like done like you're transferring transitioning from one chapter of your life to the, another but it's also accomplishment of a goal people definitely remember you for that for accomplishing something overcoming some sort of obstacle or barrier what do people remember you for my pal number three what do people remember you for? Yeah, I see. Wow. Ace of Swords and the Hermit. For spending a lot of your time alone. For studying, like always reading a book, always like um, gaining knowledge. Like you're extremely knowledgeable here. We have the Ace of Swords. People will remember you for speaking the truth, for being authentic, for being... Um, a truth seeker as well but also a great communicator with the ace of swords i'm gonna like extremely intelligent maybe some of you like math because there's a there's an algebra equation here i don't know if you guys could see it but it's right there an algebra um equation so i'm gonna like maybe you're really good with math people remember you for being very like that's why i said book smart and we have the hermit here like you know like you spent a lot of your time alone studying learning improving and like, yeah, always spending time on your own. And this is the reason why you are in that position of being um, self-sufficient, independent uh, leader, okay, with the Aries energy. Okay, wow, I cut the deck open an emperor again, guys. Definitely boss. People remember you for being a boss, okay, in your own way as well. Like definitely different. Like your vibe is just different, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.